Good evening. I don't know if you can hear the music in the background. I could be about to get really grumpy. <sighs> Thank you so much for all the messages uh, regards to my father. That was much appreciated. Apologies if I haven't responded. It's, yeah, it's, it's quite difficult. Um, I'm out for the first time since I lost my dad. Trying to get my mojo back, I really haven't felt like doing anything, much less picking the camera up. So for those of you who are maybe expecting to see sunflowers at the sunrise, no, sorry, it's not happening. I, I looked at the forecast and I woke up in time to go out for sunrise, but it wasn't happening. And then we had horrendous rain that just bashed the living daylights out of them. So I've come to the coast, I brought Lee up because obviously I now have the dog. So Leah's, oh, she's not been to the coast in years. So I've taken her for a little poddle and we had a little paddle and she's now fast asleep in the van, absolutely exhausted. And I've come to Crosby. I wasn't expecting a disco on the beach. I have no objection to people playing music, but really they must be a quarter of a mile away from me and I can hear it plain as day. It's sunset as well, which is unusual for me because I really haven't had the motivation to get up in the morning. Cloud is yeah, showing possibilities that we might get a bit of colour in the sky. It's very, very misty in the far distance, but it's calm and the few times that I've been here it has been blowing a hoolie if I remember correctly or it's been grey as anything. So we're going to hopefully get a little bit of colour. Well having said that that's probably put the kiss of death on it. So I'm just going to sit here, we're about an hour before sunset, I'm just going to sit here, watch the tide go out and get ready to go and take some photographs. waiting for that their ship which I think is the celebrity X carnival or something to get out of the way I set up and had a bit of a play and although it's only been uh, three weeks since I was at the coast I kind of forgot what I was supposed to do I managed to keep my ISO at 500 don't ask <laughs> so once I figured out that that's why my long exposures weren't actually being very long then we started to get some success. Where the sun is going down, it's casting a real orangey colour cast across the scene. Uh, I've tried fiddling with my white balance, but it hasn't really made a huge amount of difference. There's a very pale, watery orange colour in the distance, which I'm not overly keen on. I was going to test dropping the Kelvin's down to maybe 7,000. In fact, I think I will do that. I'll have to put the camera down there because I can't do that with one hand. Um, to try and get some of the blueness back because we're getting the lovely soft light and that water is actually quite a lovely blue colour. <laughs> quite unusual. For them. I think that's the Mersey, isn't it? So I'm just doing a very uncomfortable triangle. We have this little man. Somewhere about there, there's a marker. And we have this lovely contraption here, which has got a massive sign that says no. <laughs> Doesn't say anything underneath. I'm sure last time I was here it said no swimming or no climbing or something. So I quite like that. I've got to keep my eye on that because that's what I'm after shooting. There's um, a wooden structure that goes out to it that covers an outfall pipe. And that's what I'm after getting. And it caught me out last time. It appeared so quickly. So I've got to keep a bit of an eye on that. The clouds are moving that way. There is a fantastic, fantastic cloud formation just above the sun. But unfortunately, just above the sun doesn't work for me. I'm just going to trigger another one of those. I'm on an F14, 30 seconds. ISO now at 100. 
The only issue I've got is the seagulls that are bobbing about because I don't think I've ever seen this place this calm. And they're just bobbing about, so there's going to be a bit of cloning work to do there. But yeah, it's what I needed. It's going to be a rubbish vlog, it's going to be rubbish photos, but I really don't care. I needed some headspace um, to sort my head out. And this is going to do the trick. I am going to have to walk forward because obviously the sea is, the water is reti retiding, the tide is receding. So I'm going to need to walk a little bit closer. I'm only shooting on 17 to 55. I could stand further back and zoom in with a 70 to 200, but I think I want to be in close. I'm not fully extended on the tripod. I've got, oh, that's not going to do it. There we go. I've just got two legs extended and obviously I've got the sand feet on because it's very very soft out here that is doggy out there having a play in the sea somewhere around there right i'll catch you again when it all kicks off fingers crossed it's a little bit like sorry i just a very strange noise there's people on the beach behind me with um ready remote control buggies <laughs> it's a bit like waiting for christmas waiting for that sun just to dip down and for this structure to show the outfall pipe. Now it, it's somewhere around there. And I keep thinking I see it emerging, but then I don't. And there's a really nice gentleman here who's local and he's very kindly let me jump in front of him because I've come a fair distance. Beautiful, beautiful clouds up here. Now if they light up, my God, are we in for a treat. I'm still not holding my breath. But you never know, this is the closest I've got to a sunset around here. And the docks are starting to light up and right over in the distance somewhere around there is Fort Perch Rock Lighthouse it's a lovely place this it's a massive wide open beach there's plenty of room for everybody and apparently we're expecting a meditation group fairly soon so I've just been faffing around just trying some shots that I wouldn't normally take I was using the waves coming in along here leading out to him but doing very um he was very small in the frame so we've got lots of negative space a little bit of the beach area showing through with the ripples in the sand oh if that sky lights up it's going to be phenomenal keep everything crossed folks keep everything crossed well we've just got the fast cat from the Isle of Man steam packet steaming through you can see the wake that he's kicking up behind him now sometimes it pays to have somebody around with local knowledge and the gentleman I was just talking to said oh you better be careful because if he powers on coming out of here the wake that he creates will quite happily drown us on this beach where we're stood because we're fairly close out now to that structure so I'm kind of he is trapping you can see the amount of water he's kicking out the back end. They don't call him the fast cat for nothing. So it's bags on backs at the moment. Some beautiful colour in the sky coming up there. Mm, these clouds aren't touching it, unfortunately. Hey ho. Uh, time to up the ISO, I think. I've only got the six stop on. Drop it down to a 6.3. That's 30 seconds. But I think that's it. Unless something amazing happens, we're not really going to get any colour now. Oh, hey ho! Never mind. Well, it's happening. No, no, not the colour in the sky. Don't be silly. I couldn't be that lucky. The outfall pipes coming through. I can't find my words. So I've turned around quickly to shoot this. The wake that came in off the fast cat was quite surprising. Yeah, quite liking that. I am shooting at. 30 seconds and f8 so i'm just going to turn that up to f11 25 seconds 
and there's still a wake coming in off it. You can see this is the after effects of it. He was certainly trapping along. Some beautiful colour over there, very pastely. No colour here. Mm, but hey ho. I'm just keeping an eye on. Oh, cranky. I've got a little time lapse going showing this uncovering. And I'm just trying to make sure I can grab it if. Yeah, quite like that. I think, I think that will do. Yeah, not really any colour to speak of. Which is slightly more high key than that. So F30, F30, F10, 30 seconds, ISO 125. And that's it, I'm done. I've seen one other possible shot. The waves that are coming in are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Just getting a bit of a reflection down here from the sky, which is wonderful. <sighs> Not as good as I'd hoped it would be, better than it could have been. And I would just like to say a huge thank you to Mike and Sue. Um, we met up at uh, Whitley Bay and they very, very kindly donated me some photography gear, which I'm really grateful for, because I just managed to break mine. My little um, GoPro type camera ended up in the water. So thank you ever so much, Mike, I appreciate that. I just did one last shot with this young man and there's a bit of a glow in the sky that's been reflected on the wet beach. This part of the beach seems to be a bit flatter so it's holding the water. So thank you very much for watching and listening to me <clears throat> being a slightly morose person today. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing next weekend. <laughs> Not thinking that far ahead. But I know I need to keep doing this because it's helping to keep me sane. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys and girls. Have a great week and I'll catch you next Sunday. Bye for now.